one of the age old real estate questions as a new realtor is, should I buy leads or should I work my sphere of influence? And how do I work those two systems to generate consistent referrals and clients so that I have a predictable income? Hi, I'm Joe Cafasso with the XP Realty, and I strive to help new agents um, and seasoned agents who are in a slump generate business and streamline the processes and systems that are utilized to have a consistent income. So today I wanna to take you through my thoughts on buying leads versus working your sphere of influence. So I'm going to share my whiteboard over here and take you through the two systems um, that I think are the most um, reliable systems. So if you look at it as a chart, you're going to have two different um, ways of thinking about it. You have attraction, where you are attracting clients who want to be your clients. Um, these aren't paid for leads. These are people that you know or people in your community. And then you have lead generation. So lead generation is purchasing leads either through um, cold calling people, buying Zillow leads, buying realtor.com leads, um, stuff like that. So if you look at this chart, um, in each end of the chart, you have, these are the lower cost leads. And in the center, I'm going to have the more expensive leads. So on attraction, what are the basic ways that you could generate leads? So moving up from lowest cost to highest cost, you have calling, your SOI. Uh, this could be their calling, sending out emails, um, any, any free items that just basically are, are using sweat labor um, in your time. In the middle, you have things like your pie drop off. So we're right before uh, Thanksgiving right now. And a lot of people that I know purchase pies, give them out to their SOI or past clients. So that's you know, that's a, you know, eight to $10 uh, per client uh, event. And then your high cost would be a client appreciation party. Um, some people do, um, you know, happy hour where they give two drink tickets. So, you know, assuming each drink tickets, $10, you're giving $20 per person. If a husband and wife comes, that's $40 per, um, per family who comes to your event. Um, so that could be a more costly um, approach. So going over to lead generation, your free items are cold calling. Um, that's basically just the cost of your dialer for $100 a month and whatever data source you have. Or you could do it really old school of cold calling expires where you do it one by one on your cell phone and that truly costs you no money. Uh, in the middle, you have Facebook. Uh, so Facebook ads, you know, two to five dollars per lead for a buyer lead. Um, so those are relatively low cost. The most expensive you have, you know, your Zillow, OpCity, which is realtor.com. And there's a whole different, you know, many, many uh, companies that will gladly take your money. So, you know, Zillow right now in Connecticut, it's a 35% referral fee um, if you're on the Zillow Flex program, or it could be anywhere from, you know, 100 to $150 per lead. Same thing with OpCity. OpCity is only on a referral basis of 35%. So those are really expensive buyer leads. So the question becomes, what is best? So this really depends on how you want to grow your business and what you want to do. So when I look at attraction, in theory, these are these are harder to quantify. So for instance, Facebook leads, I know convert at about 1%. So if I get 100 Facebook leads at $2 a lead, that's $200. I know I could convert 1%, so about $200 for one closed, um, one closed property. So cold calling, again, that's free, but I know typically about, it'll take, you know, it's about 2.5%, about 25 conversations to having one listing appointment from. So... I think purchasing your leads is probably a good way to go if you're a new agent who wants to do a higher volume. So if you're, you're interested in doing you know, three to five transactions per year, attraction might be 
really what you want to focus on. But if you're looking to do, you know, 20 to 50 transactions a year, it's harder to quantify how many people you know, because obviously there's a limit how many people you know. So that means how many more people you need to meet. It's a little harder to build a business this way, whereas you can quantify and work out, okay, I need for 20 transactions, I need 2,000 uh, Facebook leads to get my 20 transactions. And again, that's going to be difficult because um, it comes out to probably less than 1% if you're doing that high of a volume. But I also know if I'm working Zillow leads and I'm on the Zillow Flex, you know, it's about a 15% conversion rate. So you're, you're looking at a lot fewer conversations to get to that one closing, to get to that 20 to 50 closings. So whatever way you build your business, the most important thing to do is to have a CRM. That's your database. Anybody that you talk to should be going into your CRM. So if you have 200 people that you know, friends and family, all 200 of those should go into your CRM. You should be sending out consistent information to them to have them know that you're knowledgeable about the real estate business. If you get 200 Facebook leads, those should all go into your CRM. Um, somebody who's just inquiring on Facebook, that's not an intent-based uh, search. They're just coming across your ad online, they're clicking on it, and you've most likely forced them to register. So they're not looking to do anything immediately, which is why you have a very low conversion rate of 1%. Same thing with cold calling, low intent. If you're just calling around a neighborhood, they're not necessarily intending on moving. So if you develop that relationship, put them into your CRM and deliver valuable information to them, you'll most likely be able to increase these numbers, get more than your 20 to 50 transactions, but more importantly, build a repeatable business. So that 20 to 50 transactions, they're sending you referrals throughout the year and you're building a bigger business than just a three to five transaction um, business based off of who you know immediately who are looking to buy or sell. So I hope this helps you. And I hope this provides you some information on lead generation versus attraction. If you wanna have a conversation with me about partnering and having me work with you to build these systems, uh, database management is something that I'm extremely good at no cost to you. I'll be happy to have that conversation with you and see if we could work together. Have a great day.